Hello, and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob, and I call myself Sansomi. And it's Friday, so uh, it's another Telford save, and um, we are closing on the end of the season, and um, I'm just going to start by saying if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would be most appreciated, or it would be most appreciated if you do. And for the boys and girls who are subscribed, I'll thank you very, very much. Now, we did get... Let's get into this before we do anything else. Youth Candidate. We have gotten a couple. And I've... I don't know. Um, I've tried to sign some of these, but it, it does, they don't look very good, to be honest. So, um, I don't think that I'm going to get any really st real stars out of this youth and my youth system isn't good of course we all know that so um but i need to try and find um um players for the next season but as i said we still have a couple of weeks and months and, and they're still going to the season needs to end before i can See if uh, there's any interesting players that's going to get kicked out of their teams and stuff like that. So, yeah. But let's just move on here. Let's try to get through this um, episode. And um, then we're just going to have one episode left. Now we're going to do four games in this one. And if we don't qualify for the... For... Um, <clears throat> Sorry about that. If we don't qualify for for um, for the playoffs, we are actually um, only going to have two games in the in the last episode, and that would be some um, a new way of looking at stuff, I guess. Um, and yeah, I mean. Let's see, I'm just going to have to... Is Jamie Allen injured or something? Where is he? There he is. As I can see, Max is injured, so... And Aaron is tired, so he's not going to start, of course. Let's go with Liam Nolan. Neil Byrne is still a bit... Since his injury... I thought, yeah, it's going to be a short last episode if we don't reach the playoff because it's only going to be two games. So um, I don't know if I'm going to have something special lined up for that episode or not. But but as I said, we're going to go through four games today and we're just going to have to see where we end up after those four games. Um, and we'll see what happens in the last episode. But for now, let's, uh, let's just get this moving. I think we're going to be satisfied with the team that we put on the pitch now. And uh, let's see if we can get a three-pointer here today. It would help us out a lot because that's another one of those teams that are in the same situation that we are. They are in a playoff situation at the moment. I think they have pretty much the same points as us. I'm not sure, but I think they're very close to us in points, so if not exactly the same. So here's Wilson, Princewell, up, oh, he's gone down, no penalty, all right. Borumwood, no, they have 77 points, we have 72, well they have 76 and we have 71. They have added today's points, so... Uh, it all depends on how this game, if it ends in a draw, we they have 77 and we have 72, but then it needs to end in a draw. So, but they are right above us, so um, yeah, let's see what we can do in this game. Alex, back to Jones, Jones with a long ball, both our strikers were there, but none of them Managed to be better than their defensive. Oh! Sean Ad Adakarpa. 
Makes it 1-0 for Borham. Dang it. That's not good. Not good at all. Well, these are not the games that we uh, believe that we're going to be winning here. That we are not um, the best playoff team there is. We know that. But um, we still want to reach the playoffs. I think it will give us some money, hopefully. So, uh, Alan, oh. The goalkeeper took care of that without problem. Here they come again, though. Oh, Jones is away. Here comes the shot, and it's outside. Thank you very much. Now, I am uh, I know that I am going to have to find some better players before the next season if I oh what a goal by Princewell if I want to be fighting for the trophy and the league title here I know that there is a I probably have to find at least a good player in every part of the pitch I mean a defender a midfielder and a striker <clears throat> and uh, um a striker that we can count upon is probably the most important thing to try and find. Um, someone with that will score for us um, often. I mean, Princewell has his periods where he's really good and scores a lot of goals, and then he's just disappearing for a month or two, and um, we get nothing out of him. So, uh, yeah, we need somebody that can really help us out in that sense that, that, it, that it will help us week out and week in. So, yeah, that's the kind of a striker I would like to find. But, of course, that's going to be nearly impossible down here. But, yeah, we're going to try. We're going to fight for it. We're going to be searching with headlights on. Um, I think that's pretty much the most uh, a lot of things that I, I'm going to have to go through a lot of teams I'm going to have to go through well a lot of teams I can't say but a lot of, of free transfer options um, to try and find a player that, that can um, actually be good for us um, and it's going to be hard it's going to be very very hard and uh, at the same time, I don't know um, the financial situation. Um, since I haven't been able to offload any players, I'm not able to give them more than £20 per week. I need to be offloading players and um, I need to, to get me some new players. So, yeah. The failed players from last season, like Noah Baba. Noah Baba doesn't want to leave us either. He's got some offers from Oxford City, Peterborough Sports and stuff like that. So uh, I guess we paid too much. And he doesn't want to leave his big salary with us. He's got £450 per week. And I guess that's nothing the other clubs want to pay for him so um, because there's been offers uh, they don't want to buy him they want to take him off our hands for free but uh, they can't seem to be negotiating a good contract with him so um, yeah he doesn't want to leave us even though I've said that I want to get rid of him and everything so and I've had discussion with him and he wants to leave the club but of course, money talks, bullshit walks, as they say. So a goal, a 1-1 one, one point here. Let's go with this. And let's start the second half. At 5, 10, 20 minutes from now, I will be throwing in um, Aaron, Aaron Harris instead of um, Nolan. Don't think we will be better. You might even drop, and uh, 
might even lose the game because of it. But I'm I'm uh, I'm feeling that it's something that I need to do. Let's let's uh, to get him to get some games. If he's ever to become something, he needs to play games from time to time. So I guess we're gonna take in all of those young players. Oh! Oh, that was unlucky, I must say. Oh, crap. We were, that should have been a goal. Hmm, has Tingle with a free kick? Nobody. Nobody from Telford being in there. O'Reilly running with the ball. Who? United player taking care of him. O'Driscoll, Alex, Harrison. No. Nope. Terry Wilson didn't want to run there. So Alex, Mortcher, sure. Princewell, no. Nope. Higgins, O'Driscoll. A long ball by O'Driscoll. Princewell, back to Mortcher, sure. to Alex, and he tries to place it. Could have gone in that corner there. Would have been a nice and beautiful goal if it if he succeeded, but he did it, unfortunately. And uh, they haven't played well, but they haven't played by, bad either. The players that has come on, like Harrison and Mortcher and Higgins, they've all been around six point six, six point seven. So. Um, haven't been a decline in the quality in that sense. Um, haven't been a race either, so or a rise. So yeah. But it seems like it's going to be a one-one draw here. I guess we're going to have to be pleased with that. Well, let's not jump into a conclusion here. They still have a chance. No, nope, they don't. Full time, one-one. And I guess I'll just say that I'll see you in the next one. And so we're here. We're going to face off against non Eaton in this second game of this episode. non Eaton only having Leamton underneath them. But as we only managed to draw against Leamton last time, so I guess it's going to be tough for us to beat non Eaton as well. So, yeah, let's get into this and see what we can do. Um... Let's see. Um, do we have Joe Ling back? I really love, would love, no, he's still suspended. Suspended, suspended, suspended. Max Woodcock is uh, back, but should only be playing for seven. I'm going to give him the opportunity to play. He's not my player. If he gets injured for the rest of his career I don't have to deal with that because um I don't oh look at the way he's been training lately all the arrows going up with him oh well we're gonna play with him and um I'm gonna play like this um yeah or maybe he's fully fit would be interesting to put him in to see if he what he can do when he plays from the start. Good bravery on him. Maybe that's something that is helpful for him. Let's move on to this and let's, let's get going. Let's see what he can do when he starts the game. Um, this Aaron Harrison pumped my fist. Press. How did he react? Where is he? There he is. Nothing. Compost. That's all. Let's kick this off. Let's get going. We want to see what happens here now. So, non eaten. 23rd in the league. Can we get another three pointer here? We certainly do need it. To keep ourselves being sure of a playoff position. Wilson. 
Alex to Harrison. Harrison. Ooh. That's good. Well, it's not good that he missed the goal, but at least he got through forward there and tried something. Come on. Don't let them score here now. Good. But um, I guess that gives them a corner. None eaten with a corner. Let's see what they can do here. Or if we can get the ball away. At Jones ball. That's good. Well done. Neil Matthews. Don't we have him on our shortlist? I think we have him on our shortlist. It's a that goal there, reserve goalkeeper. I think he's a young, interesting goalkeeper that I've tried. I've been interested in for some time. Maybe his contract is running out this summer. That could be interesting. Oh, well, here comes Nuneaton. Corner. Dang it. Come on, Telford. You can do this. That's good, James. We need to play better. Definitely need to play better. Now, look at this. Harrison has played better than Alex as in the center of the midfield. That's just weird. But, yeah, that's the way it is. Robinson. Alex. Moving with the ball. Passing to Woodcock. And it's the goalkeeper's ball. Come on, 33 minutes, 35 minutes here now. I do find myself being a bit more mellow when I record uh, Telford United. It's like it's a little more... What should I say? Uh, I don't know what to say, really. It's like uh, syrup or something, that it's a little more drawn out and a little more or a little more like it doesn't really happen as much uh, stuff in these games as it does in the Welling and Manchester United so I do lose a lot of energy when I record these uh, this uh, Telford um, episodes than when I record uh, Welling and Manchester United episodes which is a shame because it is interesting but I guess being down here and being in the situation that we are in now, where I feel that we should be lucky reaching uh, if we reach the playoff because we don't play good, we don't have the right kind of players. We are lacking a lot of good players in this team. I feel that maybe that is, is part of the reason why I have my mind set on the next season already. Because I don't feel that there's much I can do to this season. Um, which perhaps is the reason why I um, I don't get the energy from these uh, from the Telford saves as I do from the other ones. I mean, the United saves, uh, things are going great there and... And uh, we're just scoring loads of goals and we're winning loads of games and and we are on our way to marvellous things there. And in the Welling, well, we've gone seven seasons and we've reached League One and, and uh, we're actually having a good time in, the, in, the, in that save as well. So I think that is part of the, the reason why I have a more mellow uh, feeling when I play these um, this Telford United so um, hopefully we will have uh, maybe one or two good signings in the in the summer and perhaps that can give us the possibility to um, get the energy up and, and uh, the feeling for success with this club up as well that would be great harrison with a shot just outside now i did a couple of changes here but i did oh i didn't take out harrison i took out uh alex and here's tingle with a 
with a cross ball and here's Woodcock gets it back to Tingle gets it back to Driscoll to Robinson back to Driscoll back to, to uh, Harrison Robinson Driscoll come on would be nice if we could get a goal here now there's Tingle with a free kick in a David Beckham situation come on Tingle and ooh, that surely took something out of the goalkeeper to do that say that was a good free kick a real David Beckham free kick tingle with a corner floats it in but the goalkeeper is there have no problems with that whatsoever Kolovan Kolovan Kovolan O'Driscoll to Nolan, finding Woodcock, Woodcock, Aaron Harrison, Nolan, Nolan, tries to reach Morsha, he does reach him, here's Morsha, gets it to Harrison, Harrison, back to Robinson, to Nolan, to Woodcock, but that's too easy for the goalkeeper, come on Telford, we can do this, I know you can. We have some fresh legs in there. Robinson tried to reach Woodcock, but uh, he didn't really run on that one. So Harper getting in there between there, and there's a Driscoll. Fine, Woodcock tries to reach Princewell. He does reach Princewell, but Princewell was offside. Dang it! I think I need to to. Uh, to um, come up with a nickname for him because I can never it's impossible for me oh look at that look at that and that means we're going to lose this game and that means the supporters and the the board is not going to be happy with me dang it they were expecting a win today. They told me so. And here we go and lose this game. For the board, I've been getting the message every month that I'm untouchable. But uh, this is certainly going to take that away. Losing against one of the bottom teams here. This is not what we needed. Certainly not. There's Higgins. Hmm. Mortcher. Mortcher. Shoots. A oh, very poor effort. Now this puts us in trouble. This puts us in real trouble. Tingle, could he be get, getting sent off or something here? If he does, now a yellow card. Now I don't know how many yellow cards Tingle has. But maybe he's going to be... Uh, suspended we don't know i don't think he has that many card i, I, I can't really recollect that he's gotten a yellow card before the game is over we lose at home that's that, that's just horrible we lose at home to none eaten uh, i'm just sorry about that and I'll guess I'll just say, uh, I'll see you in the next game. And so we're here, third game of this episode, Alfredson Town. Now, <clears throat> we need to start winning here. There's four games left to play. Uh, we're only four points away here. Um, and we're going to face them. So this is a very important game to win. And... Uh, we should also know that we have Darlington, where is Darlington there, in our next game. And then we have South Shield and Peterborough Sports. So it's going to be very hard. If we don't win this game, I'm going to question if we're going to reach the playoff. So it is a, a very important game today. Let's hope we can get three points out of this game. I've done a little changes. I've made... Uh, the wingers 
or, or I made the the them to wingers instead of inverted supporting wingers. They are now attacking wingers. I've done some changes here that we are so slightly more direct and a slightly higher tempo. And of course, I've done maxed out this much more. And then I have chosen get stuck in. I don't really like this because it's uh, let's 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 wait with that, by the way, because that can can really up the amount of yellow cards and red cards and stuff like that. So we want to stay out of that. So, uh, yeah. And then I pulled down Alex. Instead of being a box-to-box, uh, -box, he's now playing as a ball-winning midfielder in defense. And uh, Ling will be playing as a deep-lying playmaker in defense here. So, uh, yeah. Let's hope that this will help us get back um, in form because we need a three-pointer here desperately as I said um, yeah it's going to be very dangerous otherwise and uh, the season will probably end after two more games uh, after this episode uh, and then we won't be playing any playoffs if we don't I feel that this is the, the most important game of the entire season, besides the cup games that we played, of course, that we lost. So this is the most important game we have, if we want to reach the playoffs to try and get perhaps a couple of thousand pounds more. Um, 1,555 attendance today. Here's Harper. Can he get the ball in? No. There's Tingle. Ling. Back to Tingle. Here comes Tingle. Can he get the ball in? Yes, he does. Is there anybody there? There's Wilson. Oh! Heading it right outside there. So, a very important game, as I said. Um, even though they have played one, more, one game more than us, it's still going to be extremely dangerous if we don't win this and here they come here they come oh thank you he missed the goal we need a three-pointer here today it's nothing no doubt about it so i think i'm going to shout demand more here the ball goes in the goalkeeper gets it away tingle running for it he gets it Dingle, he shoots once, but he shoots straight into the fires. Doesn't even get close to the goal. Here they come, but Burns should have control of that one. Yes, Robinson. Blake Tracy. Tries to get it up, but doesn't reach. I think Princewell is very bad at receiving balls, to be honest. Uh, he doesn't uh, meet them, and he doesn't run. When they, when they play them above him. So I think it's very sad that uh, he's lacking in those skills. But um, yeah, that's why he's the advanced forward and not the the target man, so to speak. But uh, yeah, delayed. Here's Princewell. Oh! They do a good job of blocking their, their good defenders, I must say. Corner from Tingle. Floats it in. Oh, let's head it away. Head it back in. Head it back out. Harper to Tingle. Tingle. Oh, he couldn't get it anywhere. That's a shame. Burn. Ling. Alex. Come on. Wilson. Blake Tracy. Gets it in. Goalkeeper is there. Ling. Tingle. And Princewell! Princewell makes it 1-0 for Telford. Come on, Telford. Come on, Telford. Come on, Telford. Come on, Telford. We need these three points. Come on. Good one. 
Sorry about that, I hit the microphone. But, uh, yeah. But no, no, no. We've lost way too many goals in that way that they just counter-attack directly after our, we've taken the lead. Ooh, we saved that on the goal line, Jones. We were lucky there, that's for sure. Burn. Alex. Robinson. Come on, Telford. We need a three-pointer today. Prince Will. Wilson. Wilson. Oh, he gets the ball too far away from him. And the uh, opponent is quicker than, than Wilson. Robinson tries to get the ball through somehow there, but... Woodcock. Prince Will. Finding Wilson. Can Wilson find somebody in there? Woodcock is there and... Ooh, just outside. Whew. Come on, Telford. All right. Half time. We have the lead. And let's pump our fist and say that I'm, they're capable of even better. Let's see what we can get out of this second half here now. Ward. Laystone. Or Clackstone, it looks like. And there. Makes me think of... Clayton Blackmore, a player that played in the late 80s, early 90s for Manchester United. Good effort here though, and gets us a corner. It's tingled with the corner. Puts it in, and... Oh! Ling is there. Ling with the ball out to Tingle again. Tingle gets it in, but nobody's there. He had to use his left foot as well. Which I don't think he's, is his better foot. Well, no, he's not his better foot. But I don't know how weak he is on his left foot. But anyway. Sowerby. Here they come. Harper getting that one away. Tingle getting it away even further. That's good. Harper. Woodcock. Back to Burn. Burn gives it to Alex. Alex. Alex tried to find Woodcock there, but he doesn't. Burn. Alex. Alex finding Princewell. Can he put another one in? And no. Oh, it goes down on the right side of or wrong side of the bar. Well, it's the right side if you're a Alfredson supporter, of course. But uh, as a Telford supporter, it was on the wrong side of the bar when it went down. Let's tingle with another corner. Let's see. He gets it in and the goalkeeper is there. Ling. Robinson. Burn. Back to Ling. Ling turning around here. Harper. No, but nothing. Comes to nothing at the end. That's sad. But, yeah, let's keep on fighting. Let's keep on hoping. We need to become better. Oh, here they come. Good one by Robinson. Robinson getting it to Alex. Alex to Ling. Ling to Harper. Harper gets it back to Burn. Burn to Alex. Well, the important thing is to win. So as long as we are in the lead, I'm happy. But uh, oh, it's a delicate lead with one nil, of course, and we don't want to lose any point. There's Woodcock. Oh, Tingle. Tingle moving in here. Tingle. Oh, he gets a corner out of that. That's good. Half an hour left of the game. Still some good fitness on our players, so I'm going to let them stay on. Here's Wilson. No, it's stolen by Blackstone. Or Clackstone. I don't know. Come on, Telford. On. Good one, Blake. Here's Ling. The Tingle. Tingle. Harper. Harper. Come on. Get the ball in there. Woodcock is there. Princewood is there, but he couldn't keep it down. Oh, that was a shame. We really could use a 2 0 goal here so that we could feel a li little more secure. 
We don't want to end up losing a point at the end of the game here. Here's Tingle. Tingle. Tingle getting it towards Principal. Principal doesn't meet up with him. It's like he's afraid to go in and to some body contact. And, and that is not good. I want him to try and be strong and, and fight for the ball. Every time he gets it up there, I want him to fight for it. No! No! Potential foot injury on Trent Tingle. That was not good. One of my absolute favorite players is injured. Not good at all. And we would... We are, we are in need of him. But this is going to be... Um, this this made the, the mountain climbing even steeper, to be honest. Um, we build upon our problem. And I'm going to be worried this entire last couple of minutes. I think we're going to put in Jamie Allen for Princewell as well. Princewell is not meeting up the ball as I want him, as I said. I think he's, he's too cowardly. There's no bravery in him, so... Oh! But I am... Um, I am training that because I'm training Ariel, so heading and bravery is what I'm training in his personal uh, um, training focus. Training focus. So uh, yeah, let's see here now. Can they come into this game? We don't want them to. Oh, thank you. Two minutes to go. A three-pointer here, and uh, hopefully we will. Oh my god. It's still them that we seem to be fighting for that last playoff position. So, yeah, winning this game could be, is extremely important, I would say. I don't want us to lose out on it now at the end of it all. Come on, get the ball away from here now. You got that one, Jones. Yes. Come on. Final whistle, please. We are way over. Yes. 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 We managed to win it. This was an important victory. And, yeah. Super important victory. And I'll guess I'll just see you in the next game, which is the last game of this episode. And so we're here, last game of this episode. And look at this, boys and girls. We have qualified for playoff <clears throat> by beating Alfredson. We went seven points up. And uh, they can only get six points. They only have two games left to play. All of these here that are even close. So we can't, they can maximum get 74. So we can put in really bad teams now for the three games that we have left and then try to have a fresh team against uh, whomever we're going to be playing in the playoffs. Um, we do know that we're going to face off against Darlington now and then we have Southport and Peterborough Sport left to play as well. Two good, great sides more to play. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and put in as many reserve players as I can in these three games. And try to rest as many of my first team players as possible, even the goalkeeper. So, um, and maybe that will in some way give me an opportunity. Because I'm going to put in some of these listed players as well. Um just gonna I don't care how bad the team gets I'm gonna put them in we all know that what's his name um, Trent Tringle is injured he will be out for two weeks by the way so he's gonna be out for quite some time that's not a, a very encouraging thing to to think about at the moment but yeah i'm gonna have to have to think about it i mean uh, 
think we'll have Luke Dreher there. F's the left one. Let's go with uh, Morcher. Up front, we're going to have Jamie Allen and we're going to have Ben Stevens. Yeah, let's go for Ben Stevens. And we're going to have, let's see, Jason Oswell as the substitute there. So this is uh, probably not going to be very nice to look upon because I think we are going to get beaten like a wet dog here. Um, Liam Nolan, I think I'm going to keep him on the pitch or not on the pitch, on the on the bench here. David Amu really should have been playing as well, but yeah, let's go for this team. Let's see if they can do anything at all against Darlington. Look at all the players that needs to be numbered. And I'm just going to be giving them numbers straight up and down like that. And let's get going. Maybe uh, Brown and Flowers can make some commercial for themselves so that they can get sold or, or signed by another club so that I can get rid of their their um, salaries so that I can start looking for players to sign. Um, it is, of course, quite important <clears throat> that I free up money because at the moment I can't sign anybody. Nobody wants to sign for £20 a week and that's all I can offer them. So I need to get rid of some players, uh, some high-paying play paid players, the ones with 400 and and so on in salary, uh, even though they are definitely no, not worth it because they're definitely not that good, I need to get rid of them. So, uh, yeah. Matty Brown being one of them, of course. He plays a good ball to Steven there, though, but... There's Morcher, and that's a corner. Oh, we created a corner. That's uh, something with this team. Um, Westbrook is probably one, I should say, should have some quality in this team. Other than that, I think it's quite low quality. Uh, so, yeah. Marcel, of course, in goal. I was very happy to get, to get him in the first season. Uh, I th still think he's an okay goalkeeper and can become quite good. But I don't think he's uh, some Toby Egan that we can develop and keep in the team until we get some to League One or something like that. No, definitely not. Um, I think he's a good goalkeeper down here and can develop to be a really good keep goalkeeper, maybe all the way up to, to uh, League Two, but uh, after that, I'm pretty sure he will not even fit on anybody's bench. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to see. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll hold on to no to a goalless draw here for quite some time, 15 minutes, and we're. We've had as, as many good chances as they had, so uh, it's interesting. But uh, we haven't played good. Alan has been playing the best football out there in our team, and that uh, is saying something. But he's the only one that have reached seven in an average rating, so um, that also tells us something. I guess it's Darlington isn't uh, good enough to so far hasn't been good enough to be able to beat us so but that could all change in a very quick way good save by marcel corner for or was it offside i guess it was offside yes so the other game that is played at the same time is south shield and they've taken the lead in their game and so yeah it's going to be interesting to see what we, I'm, I'm 100 percent sure that even if we do put our very best team to action here, we are the weakest playoff team. So it would be a miracle if we would gain promotion through it. I don't want to, 
to be honest. Uh, I want to be honest all the time here. And I do not want to get promoted. Because we do not have the players. I hope we will become a professional club. Because I want to be able to start developing the players like Trent Tingle and uh, Josh Higgins and stuff like that. It feels like they don't get anywhere because we don't have um, a professional status. They don't train enough to, to, um, to develop. Now, I know I must remember not... Or I must... I must not forget this time, as I did with Welling, to sign new contracts with the players. If they're not on full-time contracts, they're not going to train as a full-time professional. So, uh, yeah, I need to do that if I want them to develop as well. All of the players need to get new contracts in that case, um, and new full-time contracts, which is going to be... Oh, over the goal. I thought that went in. But they're taking over more and more now, Darlington. So, uh, yeah. Seems like we are not going to win this game or not even get a point in this game. Half time, goalless. I'm going to be pumping my fist and do. Um, yeah. We can. Oh, look at that. Nobody believes me. But Miles Edmondson, he's the only one believing in me. So, and uh, I'm going to be taking out Flowers, putting in Sid Nelson here. Oh, here they come. Darlington did play better and better at the end of the first half, so I'm pretty sure they're going to get their goals eventually and uh, beat us. So, um, yeah, we have put in a substandard team, of course, so... Uh, it wouldn't come as a surprise if they beat us, of course. We, we, we are fully prepared to, to lose this game. Yes, there's the penalty. Unfortunately, Marcel, can you do anything about this penalty? Or is this... Oh, he saves it! Well, it was a bad penalty, I would say, but yeah, he saves it. Good one. Still a goalless draw so far. But, uh, as I said, Darlington is just taking over the game more and more. And, of course, we are going to lose this. We can't. We're not going to be able to keep up with this pounding of us constantly here. So, um, a little away, but what does that help? Oh, let's put in Amu. I think he should be getting some time. Let's put in Oswell as well. There we go. Marcel has been playing very, very well. 7.9. But we can't seem to get the ball away from our... I know there's one more thing I want to change in the... It's in transition. I want to distribute it over everything instead of... Finding a, a, a playmaker, we should just hoist it up towards the strikers and hope for the best. Here we go, and they have a free kick, and they shoot right in the wall. But they keep the ball, and oh, Oswell stealing it and just hoisting it long, long, long. Well, it's something that we need to do because we are in deep trouble in this game. We've done all our three changes as well, so not much will we not, and we can't do anything more there. And uh, here comes Darlington again. I'm pretty sure that they are going to beat us today. And Collins shoot, and there it is. There it is. I've been waiting for it for quite some time now. They have been dominating over us. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can demand more or something. Ooh, it's 
sorry about that. I'm so tired all the time nowadays. I'm very worried about that. But anyway, McCann gets it in and that's number two. Things are going to run away from us now. But we are a little... We don't have any strong players in the team at the moment. But I guess this is the team that's going to be playing the other two games as well. Because we're going to keep on, on um, resting our players and see what they can, what they're able to do uh, in the playoffs later on. It's going to be a hectic time for the for the best players we've got, and hopefully, Trent Chingle will be back in time for the playoffs. He was given two weeks. That he will be would be out because of injury. Oh, look at that pass from Oswald. Well, it should be said also that most most of these players hasn't played a game the entire season, like uh, Brown, like Flowers, like Baron Bernard, like uh, Marcel. Well, loads of them haven't played a single game. So of course they're not going to come in here and make a great game but they did stand up for quite some time it did took them take them some time before they got that first goal but after that we haven't even touched the ball out here it's been abusive and uh, yeah we've been totally dominated by Darlington today especially in the second half we did have some chances in the first but in the second half it's been Old Darlington and no comfort at all. But it was expected. We did put this team in at uh, on free will. Uh, we did not want to. I don't don't want to risk any of the the star players getting injured before the playoffs. Now that we have secured a playoff position, which was the the goal of the season. I must say, for me, it was the goal of the season to reach um, the playoffs, and we have done that. And um, now we only have one episode left on uh, this on this um, season. After that, there will be um, a seasonal break, and we I will try to do my best to try and strengthen the team during the break and uh, coming back uh, after the preseason uh, will be the first episode of the next season which if I'm not mistaken is the season three right this is season two if I'm not mistaken so um, yeah National League North Darlington Easter victory yeah that, that was an Easter victory for them even if it took quite some time for them to to score that first goal Dieba, one of the players that i've signed of the youth players that came up this year maybe he could become something but i'm not i'm not i don't have a lot of hope to be honest that he will become something but anyway and i slammed the team of course i did um Cracker of Crescenting Road Stadium. Yeah, okay. Braintree South Shield 3-4. That's interesting. South Shield has now surpassed Peterborough Sport in the league title. That's interesting. So they have still have something to play for, both of them. And that's the team that we have left to face. We're going to face off against... South Shield away in the next game. And after that, we have Peterborough Sports. And then we go into the playoff. And we're going to use this crappy team that we used this time against those two as well. So we're going to be get probably, most likely, we're going to get beaten to a pulp by both of them. Because both of them have the, are fighting for that first position in the, in the table, which is going to be fun to see. You can see here the table same points south shield has one more in goal difference that's what keep them 
on the first position and Peterborough on the second. So and nobody else can get involved there, can they? Yeah, Borham Wood can actually. If they win the two last game, they will end up in 87. That means that they need to lose both of their games and none of them are going to lose against us. So Borham, you cannot win this division. But um, yeah, that's something that we will see what happens in the next episode because next episode, as I said, we have those two league games and then we have the playoffs and we're going to, the, the episode is going to run even if we get all the way to the final of the playoff. We're going to play every game that we have left this season uh, in that last episode. So uh, next episode is the last one. That's just for sure. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I have actually enjoyed it a bit. And I um, uh, hope you stay safe out there in this dangerous world. Hope you have tons of fun. And I will just end with bye-bye-bye-bye.